Well, how y'all doing, Derby Jack here? <clears throat> well, little do y'all know what happened to me this morning. I, 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 I get a, uh, I get up out of bed, of course. Apparently, on my phone, I find out that, you know, my, I, I get a message stating that they pulled a video from my main channel. Well, I go and check out what the video is. They say it was misinformation about you know what. Well, apparently in this video, I did this about, God, almost a week ago or two, at least, a week and a half ago, this particular video. And I, it was, I never said anything remote about taking away, about against. <clears throat> I mean, I said a lot of different things, but they made it sound like I didn't. So I go back and say, yeah, the reason you took it down, you don't like what I said in it. Well, they did a careful review, and I got the video put back up again. Very few of us get those privileges, uh, you get those memories that our stuff gets back again. I won! Probably only to lose. They're going to be looking for something else. They don't like that. So they'll look for something else. <clears throat> Wait for some pansy ass uh, to come to them. Uh, dear, that guy, Derby Jack, hurt my feelings. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, food. I need to let you all know something. Remember I keep always telling you that. Do you understand the difference between having the power, having a relationship with God in power? Do you have a relationship with God in power? I'm not talking just prayer, in power. Do you have the Holy Spirit power? Is it working within you? Because right now, you know, we're in a spiritual world that is now being physical. And the spiritual darkness, of course, has now opened itself, itself up into our natural world. Many people are out there possessed. Many people out there are blind. But here's the thing. They want us to demean ourselves. Do, do you understand what the push of eating bugs is. God created us to be not just above the food. We're actually above the food chain because we have been given the right to be able to kill animals and eat. And that was a right given by God himself, right? Certain meats he don't want us to eat. But he also don't want us to judge ourselves or be judged by others about it. But never in my Bible, and I know you all want to bring up that John the Baptist. John the Baptist ate wild uh, ate locusts with wild honey. He sucked, the, he sucked the stuff out of it. He didn't eat the skeleton. And he also had wild honey. So he dipped it in here. The wild honey at that time was an antibacterial. So he was medicating the, or himself by eating the locust with the wild honey. You see what I'm saying? What has happened now is that they want us to demean ourselves, to eat bugs. God gave us the ability to be above all other animals, that we have a right to eat these other these mongrels in high places, especially Satan possessing them and the demons of possessing them, they want to take that right away from you and try to say that it's easier and better. Look, when all these people are sitting here saying that, what, spider's milk or, or cricket milk is, is better for you or cricket flour, they're lying to you. And this has nothing to do with health. This has nothing to do with the CDC. This has, nothing, this has nothing to do with health whatsoever. They're lying to you. There is a chemical in a damn bug that we cannot eat and we are not supposed to be able to process. Okay? God did not make that chemical in that bug for us to process because we're better than that. And what are they doing? They're trying to take that better than that away from you. God made you to eat animals, okay, not insects.
okay? And these mongrels are lying to you every time they say, oh, it's better for you. That's a lie from hell. They know it, and you better start knowing it. Any of these so-called scientists, if they got in front of me and tried to tell me that, that, that eating bugs is more, I'll punch them in the mouth in front of me because that ain't going to go. You ain't going to tell me to eat a bug. Who the hell do you think you are? I am better than that. I am a human being. I am also a child of God. I have power from on high. Now let me tell you something. You Christians who say you operate the Holy Spirit power, they're going to start throwing shit. Types of stuff that they're going to be putting in our foods little by little to get your body assimilated to it. If you have to eat it and you don't know it, you better ask God <clears throat> to start protecting your body. Start protecting your organs. <clears throat> Any type of bug stuff that's in your body that will not be processed will work on destroying your fascia around your, your body parts, okay? Your fascias around each body part. To keep the, that, that keeps that, that each biology is kept in its own case, they'll break that down with all these chemicals and all this bullshit that they want to put in our bodies. You don't have to be a scientist to know that eating a bug is not natural for a human being. I'm not saying being out in the woods and having to do something for a day or two, your body can handle it, not a diet of it. Hell no. And these mongrels in high places, you people, stop listening to these bastards, these, these damn demons, stop it. If they're saying they're experts and they say that they're in the field, have they been eating a diet of bugs themselves? No. They're sitting there telling you to eat a diet of bugs. They go and do, do, do their little uh, uh, writings and stuff, and they go home and eat steak and potatoes. Yes, they freaking do. I'm sick of you stupid people out there ruining my fucking life. I'm sick of you fucking monkeys out there submitting to everything these mongrels are telling you to do. You'll roll up your sleeve for any god dang name that they pop out. Oh, we, we, we've got another variant. The, roll up your sleeve. We've got the cure, yeah. You've been curing people that are grave. That's what we've been dealing with right now. Oh, this one I'll probably fucking lose. You know what? I don't care anymore. I am beyond caring. You know why? Jesus Christ is coming back. Their heads are going to roll. And that's the only thing that keeps me blessed, is knowing that their heads are going to roll. Anybody that tells your... Let me tell you something right now. You, Y'all, lucky I don't have a child. You know, my, my child would not live. I take my child away from all this. I, my child be in hiding away from all this mongrel bullshit. I ain't going to let my child go to a school that lets them eat bugs. Well, what'd you do? Pick them up off the floor? Give them to the kids? There's your lunch. How despicable you, how despicable you scientists are. How despicable you people are at the economic forum. I'm going to tell you all something at the economic forum. You need to be liquidated. Somebody needs to, needs to put a padlock on the door of that freaking place and nobody gets in. You mongrels, you mongrels have no right to your lives because you won't let us have a right to our lives. What gives you the right to your lives? What if I came and mandated what you can do and what you can't do? Klaus Schwab, you and your little, you and your little dick sucking buddy, yeah, yeah, that little guy who sits here and says that the rest of us ain't worth anything. You wouldn't want to meet me in a corner somewhere, would you? That little, that little thing of yours, that little mini me of yours, Klaus. I can't say what I, I can't say what I wish upon that son of a, or you, 
oh, I'm riled up tonight. You, you, you all know I, I'm not feeling good. I'm riled up. I don't care anymore. I'm tired of this world. I'm sick of this perverted, downtrodden, a bunch of monkeys. I used to have humans around me. I don't have humans anymore. They're a bunch of monkeys. I swear to God, there are monkeys everywhere. Everywhere I look, there's a monkey. You got a mask on your face. What the fuck you got a mask on your face for? Why? Why? Health, health-wise, it ain't freaking safe. Half of y'all out there walking around hyperventilating. All walking around half high, not even understanding what the hell you're thinking. Oh, I am so sick of humanity. I, I really am. And, 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 you know. Well, I guess I gave another feather in the hat of myself, but yet I think the feather's going to go back to them because after I hear this, and after some pansy ass ain't going to like this, and they're going to complain, oh, he swears, he ain't no manager, take him off, please, because they can't handle truth, and they can't handle, they can't handle truth. Go ahead and go out there and get yourself a cricket burger. Put a little ketchup on it. You might be able to swallow the freaking little legs and shit, unless they get in your throat. Stupid. You know what? I guarantee you, if somebody who is a professional or an expert sat there and says, well, if you, if you sat there and take yourself a, a, a spoonful of arsenic every day, that'd do you good, that'd do you a good thing. that make your blood pressure move up a little. Make it, drink it along with your coffee. Put a little bit, teaspoon in your coffee of arsenic. It, it'll, it'll make your day said by an expert. Well, anyway. Well, I just thought I'd say that, yeah, I, I, I'm working on a loss because I had a win. I mean, I guess I got to give them something, huh? Um, keep spreading the music, please. Um, I want that song to be heard. I want that song to be heard. That song is a song, you know, you know, they got to pay for what they've done, man. Oh, yeah. Good old who, good old CDC. I want to see some payment due. Payment needs to be done. A lot of people gone. Somebody needs to pay for those people gone. CDC and who? Dr. Fauci and all. And Dr. Tetros, the fake doctor over there to who? Not even a real doctor. What the hell's that? You know, you, you, you're going to silence me and you got a guy over there acting like a doctor? Portraying one and it doesn't even have their credentials? And yet, and yet, and yet, most people in other countries, they're trusting the men. That's like they got people in Africa all duped believing that the UN helps. The UN, the UN don't help. They get money to exploit these people. Then they get the eugenicists in there and they do their jobs. And they, they, you know, the, the, the needle people, they go in there, you know. Bill Gates, remember what Bill Gates always said? Yeah, we grab a hold of those babies and just shove them needles right in their arm. That's what Bill says. Bill Gates said that. Don't blame me. I'm not just the messenger here. That's what Bill said. It's on here. You can find it. Sure enough. That's right. Just take them babies and shove them damn needles right up in their arms. Just like that. Saving their lives. Do you all know where the clip, cleft lips of children come from, from Africa? Two generations ago. That's right. That's why these children are born with cleft lips, because two generations ago they got there. That's right. Transition. 
each generation. You don't need to be a scientist or expert to know that, huh? You, you introduced it. And it's been showing its ugly head ever since. Experts. Medical. Scientists. Experts. And now they got doctors over there trying to fix the lips of children that should never have had that happen to them in the first place. At birth. Right? If old Bill didn't have his way and put it in the kid's arm, jabbing. If he didn't have his way, those kids would have been born without cleft lips. Drop the freaking mic. Derby Jack out. See all on the other side.